they say, it's your boy Chef T Best, season two. Best Eats coming at you. Best Eats. Best Eats. <laughs> hey, today we are at the Cal Farmers Market, okay? And uh, this is our go to spot for fresh poultry, fresh vegetables, fresh seafood. I mean, fresh everything. Everything is done in house, okay? So, you know, hey, you know your boy, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it big, I'm gonna do it the best way. So, follow us as we continue on our journey. We're getting ready to go in. Baby, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so, I'm gonna tell you what the menu's gonna be, okay? Y'all already know I love my seafood, right? So, we're gonna do some surf and turf. Here you go. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to go in here and find the freshest seafood. Maybe a snapper, maybe a grouper, maybe the freshest beef tenderloin you can find, okay? And then we're gonna go over to the recipe section, section, and then we're gonna try to figure out what recipes are gonna complement the meal, all right? Right here is the Georgia Sprite Bass. So, babe, what kind of wine are we gonna get to pair off with the snapper? And definitely this New York should do a white. You should definitely do a white. So, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the wine taste. I'm gonna leave the wine tasting up to you. The wine, the wine pairings up to you. All right. This good. What is that? Okay, so either that or either we can come try this right here. 2016 Savon Blanc, I believe that might go good, but guess what? We trying to do something different. So go go with the three pairs. Is, is the three pairs is a thumbs up? We're gonna see which yeah. one we choose. Then you a thumbs up. Let's go. Let's rock. Gonna use these right here. We're gonna use some fresh jumbo shells to go along with our seafood and our surf and turf. Okay, so I'm gonna take these right here and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put a twist on it. I'm gonna use these as a I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make, make marinara sauce and we're gonna use these fresh jumbo shells to complement our meal. Okay. Okay. So y'all know we just got back from, from the farmers market. So this is our haul. This is what we bought in for my day out, okay? So we have some fresh jumbo shells, right? These, these, these were made fresh at the farmer's market, okay? So we have these. Mind you now, this meal that I'm gonna create is gonna come from creativity. So here we have some fresh zucchini, cool? You got that. I have some fresh baby, baby. So fresh snaps, okay? I have some fresh ciabatta, ciabatta bread. This is fresh made today. I picked it up off the shelf. I saw when they was bringing it out, so it's fresh. Okay, cool. So we have that. Some fresh Roma tomatoes, cool? Outside of that, we have 
Ta da! Uh, three <laughs> Went with the three White pairs. Wine. Three pair wine. Believe me, this wine here is on the chain. It goes good pairing with white flaky fish. Okay, this is what we went with. Okay, so I believe that this right here is going to go good along with the meal. This what I'm not done yet. So here we go. Here we have the New York strip steak that we picked out at the store. This is going to be a very important part of our dish. Okay, remember I told you we could do it in surf and turf. But I'm going to bring a different flair to this, okay? We are not done yet. All right, so the main ingredient of this dish is going to be we're going to use some sea bass, black sea bass, and we're also going to use this gray snapper. This is going to be a, the, the desired piece for our meal. Y'all again, we're going to put all this together. Only at Best East. It's Chef Best. I'll see you in a few. We're doing surf and turf with a little pasta. Right here, you already know we got our pasta. I have it soaking, getting it ready, because it's going to go into the water and we'll come back to a ball. But our main thing is the fish and our Wagyu beef. Okay? So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead. I'm only sprinkling the cavity right now and this is some herbs and spices that I had around the house some little salt pepper a little bit of cumin thyme dry thyme because we're gonna do some thyme as well so first time to already do this so everybody loves the lemon pepper lemon pepper Inside, inside, and we're going to just season all the cavity of the fish, okay? So, now we're coming with the first time. Now, it doesn't really matter how much time you use. It really doesn't really matter, because I love first time. Uh, it's a brilliant taste. Uh, it, it just brings out the flair and everything. So, now we're going to go with the last. This right here is the white grouper. So to go ahead and add my adjacent ingredients to the flesh. Even though we have already seasoned the inside, right now I'm using lemon pepper. As you can see, it's lemon pepper. We're gonna marinate or season the outsides of the fish on both sides. But I'm not done there though. This right here is marjoram. Marjan rim. Okay, look it up. It's a different flair and it brings out the best in everything. It's an Indian type flavor, Indian type cu cu cuisine. They use this in almost everything. So, this is just a marinade. I'm just, just liberally spreading it over it. So, now I'm going to take this time right now and flip it. Flip it, flip it, okay? So now we're going back again. Marjoram. Lemon pepper. And we're going to ease it in. 
Okay. So what this recipe right here is, we're doing surf and turf, right? Surf and turf. But this fish is going to be a different flair to what I'm doing. So what we're going to do with this fish is, I have some parchment paper that I had out earlier. And we're going to wrap these fish in parchment paper. Okay. Ease this over this right here. It's a little bit over the parchment. Because I don't want this fish to stick. What we're going to do is sprinkle a little bit evenly over the fish. Okay? Massage it. Massage it. Massage it. Massage it. So, if you understand what I'm doing now, I'm going to take this up. Take this up. I'm going to lay this first down. Like that. I still have the olive oils on my hands. We're gonna massage this. Now this is a mullet, okay? I gotta tell you about this mullet. I grew up on this. This, this, this right here is a, a, this right here is a Savannah staple, you know? You know, back in the day, you know, when folks didn't have it, this was the outcast in the black community. But we are always turning around and made sure that it was a part of the table. So, I'm gonna wrap this up real good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we wanna make sure that we seal this very, very tight, okay? So, that's one. And again, you see how I'm holding it? I want to make sure that it's really done perfectly, all right? So we're going to go ahead and continue on wrapping the grouper and the black sea bass the same way, and I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is these fish are wrapped in parchment paper, right? But I'm also going to add a little foil and coat it with some olive oil. Ooh, this is going to make that fish so succulent and juicy. You know, you want that water in your mouth, tell them you got it from Chef Best, all right? These are the same tricks that they use in the restaurants, but they don't tell you about it, okay? And this is not hard. It's very simple. Wrap it in parchment and foil. We have lemon pepper, salted pepper, thyme. The thyme is, the thyme is in the cavity along with fresh lemon along with lemon pepper. This right here is going to go into the oven, I'm going to say 25 minutes. And let's rock. We're going in. Wagyu. This beef, when I remember back in my early culinary days, and that's when I learned my craft on how to cook the perfect steak. So here we go. Salted water. And you always know when your pasta is done, it will float to the top.
So you got the pasta in, and you guess what? You always remember you never cover your pasta. The pasta has to breathe. So it's gonna be a minute. Come just come to a ball, but it's already fresh pasta. So it's not like it's no box pasta. It's gonna take them a few seconds. So that's done. The main process when you're cooking pasta, whenever the pasta is done, you need to bring it up out of that pot. You need to get it up out of that water because it's going to continue to cook. So what I'm doing now is I'm cooling this pasta down. Okay. Pasta is fully cooked. It's not breaking in my hand. Got some fresh stoppies. Okay. I'm going to blanch these for a little bit. This, I'm going to, going to add this on to the menu later on when I get continue to plate it. Okay, fresh no peas. Hey, don't forget about the Wagyu. Check out the Wagyu, baby. You see that? You see that? You see that? That's what you want. You feel me? Hey, what you say? Your boy Chef Best. See you in the free. There was to this Wagyu, add some red onions, some fresh thyme, some jalapeno, along with some black olives. Okay, this is gonna go good with what I'm telling y'all about the steak, pasta, the whole blend. Guess what? That's all I want. Right there. Got a little bit of flip. That's all it takes. The only thing I'm trying to tell you folks is you can do the same things when you're at home, okay? That fresh marinara. We got basil leaves. Fresh basil. Okay? Fresh basil leaves. We have crushed red peppers. We have crushed Roma tomatoes. We have oregano. We have salt and pepper. We also have some thyme. We have some, some, also my little secret ingredient, which, you know, I'll tell you guys once I get it big and I market it. Now, so, we have the pasta. Okay. Check me out. Right here, the black sea bass. Okay. Over here. Ooh. Cannot lose the integrity of the dish. The white sea bass. The white grouper, excuse me. Okay, so my baby. My wife, she loves the bass. So this is gonna be hers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up for her. She's gonna be the first person to dive in to the first surfing turf. The best way. Folks, like I always tell you, this restaurant quality food in your own home. 